Hi, Jeremy. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you. So what brings you in today? Um, I'm here to get fitted for some custom winter gloves. Some winter gloves, okay. And are you looking for something athletic or something more driving glove? wise leather glove. Um, I think these are going to be specifically mostly for snowboarding. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and ask a few questions before we get started. So first, do you currently have a pair of, of winter gloves that you've been using? Yeah, I do. You do, okay. And do you happen to know what material those are? Um, I think they're some sort of leather and polyester. Okay. Leather and polyester, okay. And uh, do you find they fit you relatively well? Is there anything you don't like about them? Um, they're actually a little big on me. Um, I'd like something a little more, something a little more fitted. Fitted, okay. Yeah. So you're looking for something that's going to be a little more agile, give you a lot of traction when you're using them. Yeah. And you said they were for snowboarding, correct? Mm -hmm. So you're going to look want for something that's waterproof on the outside or water Definitely, resistant. Yeah. Okay. And how many times a season do you think you'll wear these gloves? How often do you snowboard? Um, I would say at least once a week. At least once a week. Okay, so they're going to get pretty frequent use. Mm -hmm. And do you have any color preferences? Um, no. Black, something minimal. Something. Okay. Something in the basics range. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in having a touch feature on the finger so that you can still use your phone while you... Probably, yeah. Okay. That's been really popular last couple of years now. Obviously makes sense. So we can have that custom sewn in um, so that it's not bulky in any way and it won't prevent you from actually gripping the board or, or doing the sport, but it does allow you to use your phone while you're wearing the gloves. So you don't have to remove them to use your phone. All right. Excellent. So I've logged that in. Those are all my questions for you right now before we do the fitting. Just set that aside actually. Give us more room to work. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is a full workup. So for right now, I'm going to have you put your hands out. If you don't mind, I'm going to sanitize them um, just because you came in from outside. So just lift them up just a little bit off the table. Perfect. And flip them over for me, please. You can just rub them together. Perfect. I'm going to actually start with your, are you right-handed or left-handed? Remind me. Right-handed. Okay. I'm going to start with your right hand, so go ahead and pull your left back. I'm going to slip this underneath here. Perfect. Just like that. And I'm going to place your hand really gently. What I'm doing here is just getting a basic outline of this right hand. Okay, you can lift that up for me. And it's by no means an exact replica. This just gives us a general overview. I'm going to be taking some very specific measurements now. also gives me a template to when I examine your hands, so just mark anything I notice that's going to be particular pay attention to. So this is the right hand. Excellent. I'm going to mark a point. And I'm going to be right in the center point. Right there. Just measure that out to make sure I put it in exactly one inch from the right side of your right wrist. 
And the center point is just how I'm going to be using to measure all these other distances from the center point. First I'm going to start out with some circumference. So I'm going to start out with your forearm. Generally with a winter glove, we're going to have it come up just a little bit higher so it can fully cover your coat and you don't have any leakage there. a little higher up here, right on the bone. And just let me know if anything feels uncomfortable, if there are any spots that feel too tight when I'm putting the measuring tape around it, okay? I'm going to get your palm. Just keep your fingers naturally width apart, but a little bit separated. circumference of all fingers and I'm going to do them at each knuckle. Try again. I'm just going to do the last finger here. Okay. Alright, again now I'm just going to trip from this middle point. I'm going to be taking all five of your fingers, starting out with the Pinky finger. Last thing I'm going to do is just measure from the knuckle down to the tip of the finger as well. Flip your palm over for me, please. And generally we measure from the back of the hand because the finger curves inward, so you're going to need the most width on the outside. It's also where your nails will land. Um, so I'm not going to measure each individual thing. That should be pretty similar and the circumference are the same. 
However, I do want to just measure the opening of your hands. The thumb has most movement that way. So are you able to? That's perfect. Thank you. And there's open sort of a little bit wider than is natural with your fingers. Perfect. Okay, and moving all these measurements from the thumb to the tip of the next finger. Okay, very good. Go ahead and relax that hand. You can move it back for me. I want to do the other side. The same thing, put this right underneath you. I'm going to just do a basic drawing. Go ahead and remove your hand for me. Again, one inch in this side. And I'm going to take all the same measurements on this side. Again, just I'm going to just go through quickly. If you have any questions, just stop me. this point.
And could you just flip your hand around for me, please? Last thing I'm going to do is the same thing on this side. And just a little wider than normal, but relaxed. Perfect. going to mark there's just a little calcing here on this side of this hand so make sure to put in sufficient padding there so you don't get any more issues all right very good you can relax for a moment i'm just going to set this to the side so we don't have any issues with it next thing i'm going to do is make a little bit of a clay impression of the hand. You're going to put some pressure on it and make some pressure there. And take your right hand, place it, I'm going to place it for you. Okay. And I'm just going to press you down pretty firmly. Let me know if this is painful. I'll try my best not to. Okay, just stay right there. I'm just going to cut away some of the extra. So I'm going to move your hand. Good. What we're looking for here is just the overall pattern of your hand, any swelling, any areas that may make a deeper impression than other. The same thing on the other side. Place your left side, please. Okay. Just keep pressing it down, keep applying pressure as, as comfortable as it is for you. I take off some of the excess here.
very good. already notice a little bit more uh, pronation just on the side a little bit more swelling there or maybe you're just stronger a little bit on that side as well so we can help accommodate for that in the glove Jeremy, so I think I have everything I need from you today. I'm going to go ahead and give this to my designer and they're going to create a first draft. Uh, I'll also be sending you some colors to choose from, but it will essentially just be different shades of um, black, grays, that kind of thing for you to choose from. And we can do that electronically. And then we'll have you come in to try on for a fitting in uh, about two and a half, three weeks. Sounds great. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and thank I hope you. you enjoy your gloves. Thanks.